the next concept that we will see is current so in our last section when we were dealing about uh, the law of conservation of charge there was a statement in uh, law of conservation of charge the first statement is that charge can be neither created nor destroyed that that is okay next statement says that charge can be transferred from one point to other point isn't it so from that statement i can get one conclusion that charges are able to move isn't it the charges are able to move or in other words technically i can tell charges are mobile so this is the conclusion that we can get from that statement that charges are mobile or charges can able to move okay charges are able to move now let us see how charge will move in a conductor or in any electric circuit for example let us see i am taking a specimen of conductors okay this is one conductor so every material as i was telling you is made up of subatomic particles like uh, charged particles like electrons and protons isn't it let us say there are some electrons and some protons are there like this electrons are negatively charged protons positively charged this conductor i am applying some emf electromotive force or some voltage by using some battery okay this is some battery okay now this battery is having two plates positive plate negative plate and again from the properties of charge we have seen one important conclusion or important statement that like charges repel unlike charges will attract isn't it okay now you just let's just look at this positive plate okay of the battery positive plate is been applied on this which side this side okay now here you are having the positive plate or positive charge on this plate electrons are negatively charged particle isn't it now electron negative plate positive so this electrons which are negatively charged get attracted towards the positively charged plate and uh, electrons start moving in this direction as indicated by my red pen okay so this is flow of electrons simultaneously here you are having a negative plate and protons being positively charged they get attracted toward negative plate and they start moving in this way so this is the direction of flow of protons okay now by the way of giving emf what happened to these charges this charges started moving so i can give you one conclusion that moving charges moving charges are nothing but current flow or simply the flow of charges in a conductor itself is called as a current but to be more precise we generally define like this we say that flow of electrons is called current so this is a very popular statement everybody knows but i have also gave, i also told you that in fact actually what is happening both electrons and protons are moving isn't it positively charged particles and negatively charged particles are moving under the influence of emf okay but there is another important observation over here what is the direction of flow of charges okay the charges always flow in opposite direction if negative charges flow in this direction positive charges going in other direction so there is another point i can uh, give here or uh, electrons and protons move in opposite direction and i was telling you that flow of electrons is called as current sir but actually current means protons are also moving no why we are not taking protons flow as a current yes now here comes the very very, very much important issue that is the mass of these particles so i am not asking you what is the mass of these particles can you tell which particle electron or proton which is heavy and which is light yes you know electrons are heavier than protons okay how heavier mass of electrons is equal to mass of protons divided by 1837 that is 800 1837 times less than the mass of proton that means you just imagine how light electrons are if electrons are lighter in weight what happens its ability to move or its mobility will be fast let us say now i am 70 kg there is my friend who is 100 kg who can run fast who is lighter he can run fast isn't it now tell me who will move fast electrons can move fast so i can tell that mobility of electrons mobility of electrons can also be denoted by mu e dash like this okay mu indicates the mobility of charges okay that is the symbol for mobility e is greater than mobility of proton so that is the reason why we say that always flow of electrons is called as current that doesn't mean that protons are not moving protons also moving but their movement is very less therefore we neglect their movement we say that electron flow is is equal to the flow of current or electron flow is itself is the current next comes the direction of flow of current what is the direction of flow of current so when you talk about direction of flow of current you tell me you want to tell me what is the direction of flow of current as i was telling you current is the flow of electrons how the electrons are moving so that is your direction of flow of current 
So if you look at the flow of electrons, it is coming like this, isn't it? Or if I talk with respect to battery, the electrons are leaving the positive terminal and they are entering the negative terminals. So if you look at the flow of electrons, the electrons are moving in this direction, isn't it? Like this. So if you, you talk, if you talk with respect to battery, how electrons are moving? Electrons are moving into the battery, okay, at the positive terminal and they are leaving the negative terminal, okay. So this is the actual flow of current direction, okay. Actual direction of flow of current. What is the flow of current? The current always flows from negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal of the battery, okay. Where the current is leaving the battery at negative terminal and where it is entering at a positive terminal, okay. So the real direction of current, okay, real direction. This real direction has got another name that is nothing but direction of electrons. Electron flow is in which direction? It is from negative terminal to positive terminal. Okay. It is from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the battery. So that is what really what is happening. But there is one scientist called as Benjamin Franklin. This fellow, he has actually in the early uh, days of constitution of electron, electron theory, Okay, in the early days of electron theory, that is in 1700 or 1600s like that, Benjamin Franklin used to say that the current is due to the flow of positive charges only. He used to consider that positive charges were actually responsible for flow of current. So when you say positive charges, that is nothing but protons, can you tell me what is the flow of proton direction with respect to battery? Protons are moving in this way, isn't it? They are leaving the positive terminal and entering into the negative terminal. So that is the flow of protons. So to honor him, okay, to honor him, what we what did we do is even though actually electrons are flowing from negative to positive, we will assume or we will make a standard notation that electrons or the current is flowing from positive to negative only. So that kind of notation or that kind of direction is called as conventional direction of flow of current. It is called as conventional direction of current. So what is conventional, sir? Convention meaning in general, convention means a standard. Okay, anything which is accepted everywhere is a convention or it is a standard. So this conventional direction of current is proposed by IEEE, International Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering because this is the body which will generally specify the standards that can be practiced by scientists or engineers all, all over the world in the field of electrical and electronics engineering. So this fellow said that we have to consider the direction of current as proposed by the Benjamin Franklin. What Benjamin Franklin proposed? from positive to negative. So conventional direction of current is from positive terminal to negative terminal. So this is the direction of current that we will be generally using throughout entire subject. Okay, everywhere whenever you're doing circuit analysis or you're doing some problems, we always take that the current direction is from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery. But real direction of flow of current is from negative side to the positive side. Now what we have now what we have to keep in mind, our analysis should be that if you're having a battery, current will be come out from the positive terminal and it will enter into the negative terminal. Okay, that is the conventional direction of current and conventional direction of current is actually the flow of protons. Okay, direction of flow of protons, but we will attribute it to the flow of electrons only as per this attribute standard. Okay, so next thing is how do we mathematically define current? Because that is what actually important to us. So mathematically we define current as time rate of flow of charge and the symbol that we use to represent current is a small i or capital I. So I can say that current is equal to charge by time. Okay. So this is what current means. What is the unit of charge? Charge unit is coulombs. And what is the unit of time in international system? Seconds. So what is the unit of current? Unit of current is coulombs per second. So this is the actual unit of current. But again to honor a scientist called as Ampere, we also called current as ampere again this becomes a very very important point so this is the unit of current okay coulombs per second is nothing but same as ampere only both are the same so in the exams they will ask you what is the other name of ampere ampere is also called as coulombs per second okay so that is about the unit of current and the current is represented by small i or capital i depending upon the situation and i will tell you what is that situation and mathematically we can define current in this way charge by time and to be more precise, I is equal to, we can say, dQ by dt. dQ by dt represents the rate of change of charge with respect to time, okay? How we can define that charge is moving if the time is moving? Because of the time only. For example, let us say now time is 10 o'clock. 
okay now you at 10 o'clock you have seen that charge is at some point this here like this here let us say now it is 10 10 1 okay and uh, after this one minute or one second of time we see that charge is at this point since the time is moving we because we are able to observe the charge with respect to time we are able to track the moment in charge let us say uh, something happened like in some movies that you can freeze the time now let us say time is freeze like this where will be the charge will be there only but if you allow the time to flow then you can track okay then you can track the changes in movement changes in position of charge isn't it so that is what i mean to say is by time only time rate only indicates the flow of charge so we always study change of charge with respect to time if charge is changing that means that the current is existing in the circuit okay but if the charge does not change that means there is no current in the circuit okay so that is what you mathematically define current as now i told you that we will say current is small or capital i depending upon some situation what is that situation now this current which is there is it is two types one is called as time invariant current the other one is called as time variant current okay time invariant current and time variant current time invariant current is that current which always remains constant that is the value of current always remains constant when will the value of current always remains constant if the rate of change is constant isn't it that means a constantly the electrons are moving okay at the constant rate so that is called as time invariant current and time invariant current is represented by capital i example of time invariant current is dc current okay that is called as direct current dc is the time invariant current now if i am supposed to draw the graph for dc then if this is time and this is the value of current capital i at every point of time the value of current remains the same so this is the graph of direct current or it is also called as time invariant current it does not vary with respect to time okay and time invariant or dc current represented by capital i next is called as time variant current that means this fellow current will be keep on changing with respect to time so this fellow is actually represented by small i or small i in a bracket t that is i as a function of time because i am telling it is a time variant so i as a function of time i of t will be used to represent time variant current so if i am supposed to draw the graph for a time variant current something like this this may be anything so this is time and here you are having the time variant current i of t you see that current value does not remain same it keeps on changing with respect to time so that is called as time variant current now there is a special case of time variant current in time variant current there is what a special case is there what is that special case okay now current is changing with respect to time i am happy now if that current is changing in some specific mass in in some specific fashion what is that fashion in this fashion like this if the current is flowing like this what is this fashion or this kind of motion is called this is also called as a simple harmonic motion or it is also called as a sine wave okay it follows a sine wave sinusoidal fashion then that kind of a ac that kind of a time variant current is called as alternating current what is this called alternating current ac that is called as ac if a current is time variant in a sinusoidal fashion then it is called as ac but not just that every time variant current is a ac this is also time variant current but this cannot be an ac this is simply a time variant current but this is also varying with respect to time but it is having some fashion or it is having one pattern sine wave pattern is there so such a kind of current is called as an ac current or alternating current okay i hope you got the clarity between what is uh, dc current and what is ac current and how do we mathematically define current and again sometimes you will be supposed to find out what is the charge from current so what you have to do just do some mathematical manipulation so dq is equal to i into dt integrate on both sides then you will have total charge q capital q or small q it's up to you you can take anything from time t to t naught let us say t naught to t1 let us say if current is moving from time t naught to t1 then this gives you the total charge transferred by that current in that particular time span okay so this is everything about current in the next uh, session we will try to discuss some important problems based on current okay thank you for watching